Alright guys, welcome to another Ultronics video. Today what we're working on is in a bunch of controllers. So what I have is this controller here. Um, so what we do is see we, we've got this one plugged up here. The lights are on and if we track on the screen it's all fine. However, that, that one's working but with this one here if we turn this on and if we go to the screen you notice how it's got an analog problem and the customer did mention about this so what we are going to do is um, fix this using these sensor wheels All right, so this is going to be very straight very simple video um, so let me pull this apart um, open it up and let's see um, if we can change the sensor wheels and uh, see if we can get this function returned to this controller so bear with me while I pull this apart and I'll resume then Okay, let's take this apart. Very easy, four screws. I think there's multiple tutorials on uh, YouTube that you can watch um, in order to disassemble controllers. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay. Disconnect that. All right, a couple of things inside. That. If you don't want to watch this bit, you can obviously uh, s skip forward. But if you are interested in this, then um, you can also watch this bit as well. Um, next thing I'll do is I'll desolder these little points for the motors here okay there and there okay next um, there's these tabs on the corner which you can press and these one more on this side press and they'll come out cool lots of little things falling out inside of this controller and uh, you notice that that thing is broken there um, what I do is I tend to take this out and just inspect inside if there's any dust or debris or anything that has a um, potential to stop function it's just a little brush brush this okay I'll give this a clean afterwards. Um, the video is not about cleaning, it is about um, fixing this. So, alright, so now back on track. Uh, let's get rid of this. So, if we put this here, minus the, the cradle that holds this together, so we notice it was this one here. So, now what I do is I grab a marker or something and I just put a little mark on here just so I know that it's that. One that I need to work on. Okay, let's make a little bit of space here. Get rid of all of these screws. Okay, so you notice how this one's jamming up as well. So it doesn't really return back. Let me just have a read through what the customer's notes were. Okay, so I didn't mention anything about this. Um, it did mention about this. So what I'm going to do is, is just work on this one for now till I can get back. Uh, sorry, I can hear back from the customer and see uh, if they want to replace both of them as well. So, grab my vice and... But here, this thing you can buy from JCar, it's like twenty dollars or something. And let's clamp that down. Get that one focus. Okay, now let's zoom you in. All right, here we are. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And what we're going to be replacing are these here. 
okay, these sensors. I'm not going to replace this because um, I'm yet to explain that. But the reason um, we sort of don't replace these um, is because once you take the sensor wheel, there's these little joysticks on the side of these that protrude out. I'll show you that in a minute. And what that does is with the ones that you can buy from the internet what happens is they are not really aligned with this so therefore if you're playing games like call of duty or fortnite or something that requires precision if that's out if that alignment with this is out it's not going to sit well so if you're aiming down a scope and you're trying to snipe or whatever um this trigger is not going to be perfect now this one's okay um if you're playing the first shooter game but if you're using this one here where you need your trigger to be exactly on point if this is not aligned with this, uh, sorry, if this is not aligned with this and that, um, it's not going to give you an accurate, it will sort of drift off to the right or the left. And so what we do is, um, if it's just the sensor, we replace those, but if it's the clicker as well, we replace the whole unit. But um, we we speak to the customer first, we explain what we're going to do, and then we move forward. So with this customer, we're just going to replace these sensor wheels. Anyways, back on track. So we are going to replace these and how we do this is we just grab something like this i'm just using a dental pack and this can be found on aliexpress for like two three dollars or something like that and what we do is you just pray there and so what i was talking about is this thing here and if that is not really parallel with this one here um then you're going to have issues so what we yeah so that one's out and then same thing on this one here which you just pry here and it just comes off so these are your sensor wheels it just measures resistance inside it um, and it tells you what orientation you are at um, so once that's done we just flip it over and um, I'm just gonna flip this towards me just so I have a better view of soldering and we're still here so that's the one that we moved out okay um, so a couple of things I'm going to use I'm going to use flux I'm going to use fresh solder and then obviously a soldering iron so what I use as a solder is is this one here, Kingbow, um, and uh, soldering iron, obviously a decent soldering iron that you need for this, um, and then just some fresh solder. And what I tend to do is, um, sorry, hang on, we need to put some flux on first. So here's my flux. So say that Kingbow, Kingbow flux is in this little syringe. It just makes it easier for me so that goes on there and this one here we just apply fresh solder to this it just makes the solder flow a little bit better and apply to that and then what I tend to do is I'll grab the sensor um, from this side and then I'll put the soldering iron on this way and I try and apply it on all three points at the same time and if you just keep working it back and forth, you'll see it move. Yeah, like that. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Yep, there we go. There you are. So that sensor is out. Put that aside. Same thing with this one here. Hold here. And just wiggle it. And that one's out as well. Cool. And now what I do is I grab a solder sucker and uh hopefully i'm not in your way too much i'll try not to be all right so we're here and then just sort of suck that up yep okay some of them can be stubborn um like this one's proving to be but just be patient with it this one here some lift okay and then just flip it over have a look on this side um, and at this point I'll just give this a brush down Okay, so this is the trigger that I was talking about. So if you go left and right, so that's your left and right, and your up and down is 
is this one here. And if that's not aligned with this here in parallel, with the new, uh, with the ones that are sold on AliExpress or any other website, if that's not parallel and straight, you're going to have issues with track movement and, and drifting off, especially with games like Call of Duty and, and Fortnite. So you want to have that, you want to check that before you buy from the source or so forth. Um, Alright, so that's good. What I do now is I'll grab two new ones. And what I tend to do is before placement is I will bend these away from that. Okay, so just like that, a little bit. So that's one. Here's the other one. And uh, with my identity pick, what I do is I'll align this to the top like that. So that little flat bit needs to be on top. Okay. The same thing with this here. It's just there. So that flat bit there needs to be on top. And then what I do is there. And okay, so there's still a little bit of a solder left in that there it's not a problem I can um, see if I can okay I think that should be okay this happens most um, most times okay that's all right okay no it's still still stuck in there so I'll just redo this bit. So if you are uh, taking solder out, I usually just use fresh solder again. Okay, let's have a look. Yep. Let's grab this. Okay. You press down, line that up. And you might just need to press it in a little till it clicks. And there you are. So it clips in. And then same thing with this one here. Turn that that way. See if I can. Yep. And then that goes there. Push it down. Clips in. So okay. Now we got to solder that back in. So those are the ones. That we removed that's rubbish now and we're going to solder this fresh solder oh, sorry fresh flux not solder and then fresh solder here and again apply it on here hold it there till it's taken it into the port so if you're wondering what um, temperature my soldering irons at it's at 350 degrees, 350 degrees, um, I don't tend to exceed past that um, unless I'm working on uh, things that have thermal um, thermal inside the solder, which, which is like TV boards and, and things near power supplies. So with this one, it's 350 is okay. I'll just go through them once more. Okay, that's that. And now what I'll do is I just use some isopropyl brush and brush away from this area okay let's have a look all right solder's gone through yes it's gone through yes okay let's get it out of the board uh, out of the holder Okay, here we are, and wow, look at that, <laughs> let's clean that, okay, so what I'll do is I'll put this back into the controller, assemble it all up, and then I'll plug it up into the console, and let's see um, if we have fixed this, I'm yet to hear back about this from the controller, uh, from the 
um, customer so once I hear back um, hopefully we can do it right now because everything's open um, and we can go from there so be with me while I place this on and I'll meet you at the screen okay so there we are I've cleaned this out replaced all of these pads here because they were worn out and broken um, I've cleaned this with the flex cable here all cleaned out and this was the motherboard that we worked on so remember we replaced the sensor wheel on this one um, getting back from the customer he did want this one replaced as well so we uh, remember this one was sticking so we've done that replaced these as well so now what we're going to do is uh, temporarily power this up and um, and let's see if we can um, see if we fix that problem of uh, tracking joysticks so what we do is just temporarily do this if you're not comfortable with this method here don't try it um, but however I've done this many times previously and it works for me but if you're not comfortable and that's fine so I've got that plugged up let's power this up there you go that's flashing okay so that's paired up now and I'm just gonna hold it like so everything's connected okay and I'm gonna take you off this um, cradle here so I can see it on the screen and you can and um, so here we are so we go back and so there we go so it's not tracking anymore like it used to that one works as well go up all right so there we go we can comfortably say that we'll repair this obviously when this game starts to load we'll have to track this um, as I was telling you earlier and so there we are so that's how you replace the sensor wheel and I've replaced that joystick as well um, and what I was talking about earlier um, let me just grab my uh, things together and then I'll be able to show you so here we are here we are so this is what the original one looks like um, the original sensor that we have uh, from these original motherboards of the PS4 controllers this is the um, the replacement that you can buy you notice that by the inside color is different another way of telling it is this one has a code on here I don't know if you can see that what it says 2a um, that's gonna yep and then how this one has nothing on it so what I was talking about earlier is this bit here so if you notice and if I can bring this closer and get it to focus you notice this bit here it needs to be parallel with this it needs to be straight perfectly straight right and same thing with this one here so this little bobbin that's inside here or this little um, piece that's inside here that's part of the sensor wheel it needs to be parallel with that right so this one's okay because this is a original one and but if we have a look at this one here that um, we bought from Aliexpress a while ago um, we had multiple problems with this and we noticed that this bit here is not very much parallel with this it's slightly off and I'll show you with the testing on the multimeter very shortly and same thing with this here if you notice that one there is quite bad so it tracks to the right it's not much it's only a few um, ohms but it's enough to make a difference when you're trying to scope down um, it won't affect you in games of such as FIFA and so forth but all other games that don't require very sensitive movements or very precise movements for that um, rather that um, so what I'll do is I'll give you some measurements of this let me grab my multimeter okay so let's change that to Turn this on okay and um, let's try this one here first okay and so this is the original one and if we place it on the middle probe and we go here okay you notice we get 5.8 and then if we do the same on this side here we get 5.8 right and then we change it to this side here holding this is a little bit tricky and there we go there and there okay okay so 5.5 .5, and then we go on this side here 5.6 is because I was pressing on that okay so it's not too bad this one's not too bad all right but we notice with this one here um, if we can go there and there 5.4 so we went from 5.5 to 5.4 this one here 5.4 and you see how these are difference in ohms okay 5.0 that's way off okay and 5.2 fluctuating 5.2 5.1 
okay um i'm ensuring that this this thing is not moving at the bottom so i'm pushing it up with my finger here as well okay five pounds. so you see how you notice how this side here and this one here if we compare it they're very different and that's why when you um are buying these try and get the original ones they are a little bit dearer i mean i'll try to put a link in the description below um or where you can buy the proper ones from but we've had to throw out a batch of 25 to 50 because of this little um piece here that's not parallel to that however i did say that that some games will be fine it won't even matter but if you are scoping down or if you're doing uh, playing a game that has precise movements you want this bit to be exactly point on and we're not a shop that does dodgy business or something like that we want our customers to be satisfied with the product that we are fixing for them or the product that we are providing them for so therefore we don't um do this model here anymore we have ordered another batch of the original ones um which is uh, about to arrive so once we have that we'll do all of that so um hope this video has helped someone um what i'll do now is i'll assemble this controller back up um do a final test on it show you guys and then uh, we can go from there okay so we've got this all assembled up ready to go um let's plug the charging cable in and let's press this here we'll pair it up okay so we'll go back to the main screen and let's have a look so there we go so it's working fine up down left right and so forth um, all of my buttons work okay so that works cool um, obviously we'll try this out in another game and get an essential um, requirements is, is to get all of these functioning properly and go from there so there we are no more drifting to the right or left and everything's fixed up no more sticky joysticks all cleaned up nice and clean ready to go we'll put some warranty stickers up onto these and we'll hand it back to the customer with a um warranty on it for a for a, a number of uh, days then we can go from there all right so hopefully this video has helped somebody out there and thank you for watching